What's up, what's up? It's your boy Greg B back at it again. What's happening, guys? Happy 2019. Man, I hope you guys had a great Christmas holiday and a great happy new year. 18 is over, 19 is now. So I want to start off this new year with a new fresh video. And today is not about landscaping today. Uh, I am off for a little while. All my yards are pretty much done and uh, just uh, enjoying the weekends now a little bit with the friends and family and just hanging out. So today we are in Lorton, Virginia. And uh, surprisingly, it's pretty chilly. It's, it's about 27 degrees right now. And compared to back home in Virginia Beach, it's about 47 degrees right now. So it's a little crispy. It's a little crispy, but hey, can I show off my t-shirt? This t-shirt here, guys, it's about 14 plus years old. So we are here and about to go to DC in a few minutes to go to the DC Coliseum and check out the monster trucks over there at DC Coliseum. So stay tuned. I'm going to make some pictures and some videos. And uh, you know how I do, man. Make a little slideshow show for you guys and uh, get it in. So I'm super excited also as well because here in Lorton, uh, last week they had um, about 8 to 10 inches of snow. So uh, I know you guys seen these things. Um, some of you guys use this to mark curbs and stuff like that. But this is pretty dope. This is the first time I've seen this unit here. It bolts to the fire hydrant. And then you have your protector so you know where the curb is. Uh, when you're coming down the street with the snow plow and you don't hit the curb and here's another marker right there So I know a lot of you guys use this so that's pretty cool that they do that here as well uh, But I'm also excited because check this out I haven't seen snow in a pile like this in a long time. So check this out guys Here's some snow <laughs> That's cool, man. It's a little dirty, but it's okay. It's snow it came from Mother Nature. Mother Nature brought that. So, guys, I don't want to keep this too long, you know. So, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in D.C. Peace. What's up? We're here. Holy moly. We are in DC right now walking towards the Capital One Arena. So I want to make a correction. I thought it was the DC like Coliseum Convention Center type thing, but it's actually the Capital One Arena. So we are here guys. We just got parking and it took about an hour, well not an hour, but 30 minutes to get some parking. So we are here walking. So right behind me, it's the Capital One Arena, so we are on the way. So uh, we're gonna go check in real quick, and then um, get get our drinks, go get some snacks, and go get our seats, and then have at it. As you can see, right over there, we got the DC police over there. Got it all locked down, so everybody can go ahead and get their uh, ticket entrances and all that stuff. So. All right, y'all. Be back. See you soon.
Last week, bad news travels fast. Earn his first crazy win of 2019. Then, we have a three-way tie. This place is huge, yo. This place is monster. Way bigger than half the Coliseum over by where we live. Presenting your colors, our ATV riders, please rise everyone and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem by Mike Parker.
from Kilmelo Hills, North Carolina, it's Randy Brown, it's Craig Tigger.
But the top eight qualifiers out of all seven Monster Jam tours will be able to compete for the first ever Two Mill Skills Challenge Championship at World Finals 20. Right now, Grave Digger's Randy Brown is 10 out of outside of the top eight. Will his score here today help him catapult him to that top eight to go to World Finals 20? And the score is know. locked in. I don't know. And the score for Randy Brown in Grave Digger is six point seven one three. Get it, girl.
Look at the track right there. It's still on fire, the track right there.
overall event championship and being one step closer to that big to World Finals 20 in Orlando on the 10th and 11th. Make sure you go to monsterjam.com for all the information and to get your tickets for Monster Jam World Finals 20 in Orlando. Once again, I'm Kimberly Cantoni. And I'm Bobby Milliken. Make sure fans you follow us and stay with us at monsterjam.com on NBC and also on NBCSN. I believe you can still grab those last night collectibles in the concourse with our official Monster Jam merchandise stand. I hope you guys had a great time this afternoon. I know Kimberly and myself did. We thank you so much for coming out. Please get home safe on behalf of everyone at Fell Entertainment. Once again, we'd like to thank you and we'll see you at the next Monster Jam. Yo, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Greg B. We are done with the monster trucks. Man, let me tell you what. That show was super epic, y'all. Let me tell you. I got great video footage. I got great pictures. I can't wait to edit everything up for you guys and, and post it on YouTube as soon as I can. So we're going to get some food now. We're going to chill a little bit. And then we're going to go home and I edit it all up for you guys. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and long season is coming up. So please check me out and um, Y'all be safe man. Peace DC one love baby. Bye